today we were talking about software-defined networking in the backhaul last mile. So um, although that's a capability we've had within the Vectorstar point to multi point system for a while, it's the first time we've really explored it uh, at a conference like Packet Micro. The real conclusion of our, uh, of our discussion today was that for an innovative operator, it's possible to use the backhaul network to provide not just virtual networks for 3G and 3G and LTE backhaul, but additional virtual networks for things like enterprise access. And all of this can be provided on the same set of physical components. So instead of going out and building a completely new network to uh, deliver enterprise access, I can actually reuse some of the physical components that are part of my backhaul network and make use of strong provisioning rules within my system to make sure there's no crosstalk between the different virtual networks. Of course, that enables a much better ROI on the enterprise access than going out and building a separate new network would do. But there's a win-win on the uh, mobile side as well, because not only am I achieving a good ROI on that enterprise access business, but I also get a great uh, reduction in churn because I have a dual offer now to some of my most profitable customer segments, my SME-type customers. Uh, because I now have this dual offer where I'm providing them with enterprise access as well, I get lower churn on that profitable segment of my mobile business. So it's a real win-win for the operator in this case. Backhaul is becoming more and more interesting space, so we're not seeing just LTE and 3G backhaul anymore, but we're also thinking forward to small cell backhaul. And forward-thinking operators are seeing that they can drive up efficiency by reusing some of the same assets that they've already provisioned for their macro backhaul for small cell backhaul. So, for example, we saw some interesting presentations from EE today about how the topology of their network would look. And we can see that being able to reuse the backhaul connection from a macro site to carry small cell traffic is an obvious win for the operator. So then the question becomes, how do I wirelessly, typically, get the traffic from the small cells back up to the macro site? And it's there that PMP has a really strong place, we think, to play. And I was really pleased today to see, um, especially this morning, from a, a number of different analysts and uh, operators, significant renewed interest in PMP as a solution for both macro and small cell backhaul.